Hey guys, I've got a really good idea tonight to produce a video for you guys. I want to work on three basic techniques for queixada, armada, and meia de compasso. What I'm going to be, do, to be doing tonight is I will break it down into how you train it and how to understand the move. Before that, we need to learn to understand something, especially like we're talking about how to use the shoulders. What I'm going to do is I'm going to touch here and create a time with my balanceando. One, two, three, one, two, three, just tick, top. This is my metronome. So when I jinga, I'm going to go all the way over. I'm touching every time. I'm going to go slow. I touch my shoulder. It naturally balances. This is a three-point jinga. Because one, two, three. One, two, three. What a lot of people are doing are going one, two, three. One. What we want to do is we want to flow the jinga out. If I go one, two, three, or a brush all the way out, take out one, two. But you see how my body comes together? One, two, three. If I balasando, it's really easy to understand. And this stays on the timing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just run a jinga. We're gonna do 10 jingas only with the, the one, two. Then we'll do 10 jingas with the three point count. So here we go. To touch my shoulder with my thumb and then bring it across so where it connects in the middle. And we jinga. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now, let's do it with the three point. If you notice, my body connects the movement. It comes in. One, two to the side. Three. So, I lean with my elbow. One, two, three. Here we go. One, <laughs> two, three. One, two, three. And then let's pick it up. Four. Five. Two more. One more. What's most important, if you notice, my body's connected throughout the movement and I'm brushing side to side, moving side to side. So let's move into queixada. What I'm going to show you guys today is queixada and armada, but how to do it in a martial arts way to better help you understand how they work. First, what does queixada mean? Queixada comes from the word queijo. Queijo is your chin. Chin, okay? Now, da is, when you add it, is a verb, it's like to do. So, queixada means chin. Cabeçada means head. Joelhada, joelha, need. So, it's adding the, the, the grammar to the word. What I first need to understand is how my bot, my partner is, is acting, okay? My partner is usually ready guard position. You see that? Even if he's capoeira, boxer, kickboxer, kung fu, whatever, they generally, everybody has a guard position. Now, if I do across the face, it's just gonna naturally hit their guard. So I'll use Modelo so you can kind of see. If I kick from the side, it just hits him here. 
it just kicks from the side. So what I want to do is I want to come forward and bring it up through the center. Okay? So I'm going to bring it up through the center. How do I do that? I need to learn his shoulder lines and his feet lines. So for me, what I'll do is I'm actually going to step my heel on his shoulder line. I'm aligned with his shoulder. Okay? From there, just like what we're doing here, as I bring my leg through, I go to the other shin. You see that? That way nothing's in my way. Then I pull my I push my hip forward, just like we did with Mel Kupasa, and then I just bring it and it goes up. I'm gonna do it a little far out so you can see. See how I'm going inside of this kick. This is not that this is wrong. This is a more martial arts aspect of kicking. If I'm doing a fun game, of course I can go far. Shell time, I'm like this. But if I'm playing capoeira or fighting or playing a hard game, jogo duro, Although my arms are inside, I'm still going full. If I just extend the elbow. This takes a lot of core movement. You're moving from here, not from here. This is the extension out, and then it goes to your hands. You turn together, boom, turn together, okay? So to understand the lines is very simple. Here are my shoulder lines. This is where I'm guarding. So the kick has to come between that. Where do they step? Right on the line of my shoulder. So the outs, the kicking heel goes to that. Not the bottom of the foot, but the heel. Remember, the kick is called queixada, not bochechada. Bochecha is your cheek. Chin is, is, is casual. So we're gonna do a queixada. I'm going to hold this for Modelo so he can have an image of how to kick in between. So it's a little bit of a, you want to come up inside. Let's see how far you're stepping out still. That's how you change. So you're going to have to push it in. No. It's okay. It's okay. Yep. It's fine. Try it for. Posture mark. Yep. Turn. Turn, turn, relax. Don't overthink it. Turn. Just step right on this line right here with your heel. There it is. You see that? There it is. Now, don't go forward because you're going forward, your shoulders down. Keep your posture. I want to go here because I'm also imagining, hold on. I'm imagining this kick, so I'm not going to go. I'm going to go here, step outside, and keep myself out of range. A lot of people like to go into kicks, and that's what's going to happen, okay? Let's do the same thing. Just imagine this as my kick, so don't go into it. I'll move it when you kick, so don't worry. Do the kishada. There it is. See how easy it is? It's just conceptualizing that there's somebody there, that you're not walking into a punch. Okay? Try again four times. There it is. Bring it right at the center. So just step on this line where your heel on this on the red right there. Put the heel on the red right there. Right. There it is. See how your face is a little forward? But that, that's what gives you that body mechanic. Try it over here. Hold this for him, like right here. So that he can get the other angle. So just basically your shoulder shoulder. So from here, I'm just gonna step here, bring it in so that when I lift it, it's already coming up. Even if I step a little too out, it's already too far out. And that's because of the meridians in your body, the lines, okay? Try four. Good. 
So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm using two pads together so I make sure I have the correct power. Now, when Paul's holding up, when we train, we usually do it straight. This is the Boshashana. It's not wrong, but it's not so martial art. It's more for a big friendly Jogo, Jogo Aberto. So if I kick the Kinshasa, it's more from the side. Okay? But when I'm playing an aggressive game, I'm trying to come under. So I'm going to angle it for the angle to come up. Lower just a little bit because I'm coming in through the chin. Now I'll do it from the side so you can see it a little bit better. So just like the chip right there. Now the final thing is I want to understand the hands. I'm going to give this to you when it's ready. The final thing is the hands. Actually, when I pull, this foot is pulling through. I push through with my hip keeping my body back so I don't get hit. If he's doing a fast biage compasso, I'm still out. Now, what I'm doing is, if I understand that the kick is up and out, by doing the hands naturally, you can see how it works. Just hold on, I'll turn it off. doing the same trajectory as the kicks, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this and he's just gonna be focusing on the bocheshada to learn how to bring his shoulder across and open it before kicking. So, if I bring both across, just or if I bring one, only half my body is involved. If I bring both, my whole body is involved all the way head to toe, and this is what we call in Zuador a body extension, because I've extended to the maximum amount before I kick or before I do movement. I'm going to do 10 queixadas, then Modelo's going to do 10, and then Paul's going to do 10. I'll switch the angle, okay? Let's bring it all together. The distance, the foot, the heel on the line, hip forward, back, kicking, coming up with a queixada. right under his guard. Exhale when you breathe. Inhale when you breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more. Perfect. Okay, Paul. Look at me. There you go, open it. Posture, open shoulders. One more. Excellent. Zoador style queixada. Let's move into the armada. Now, the armada is actually a step through, turning, full body extension, doing the backhand, and then a queixada. So from the jinga, I step in, shift forward to where I'm outside on the heel, I mean on their, on their meridian of their shoulder. You see how I'm not in front? Here, pasando, 
turning it all the way as far as they can so that they make it do the keshada. And this becomes the armada. the punch. So why? Because we imagine that everyone knows, like everyone basically knows this. So we're trying to get inside of that. The first thing I'm going to do is understand the footwork, the full body twist. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jinga, step in, past the line, so that my partner's here. Then I'm going to like hip hop, twist, pushing my hip out and coming back here, centered. Just for today, you can do this, you can, but today we're doing the full Jenga technique, right? The technique we see there I am, back in Jenga. So it's all the body mechanic transition here. So what I want to be is back here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I want to be full body back to my partner. Okay, so to better understand this movie, movement, <laughs> this movie, this movement, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Modelo hold it right here, and I'm I'm going to turn to just get the full ex body extension. I step out past him. See where I am? And I want to keep that out until I finish the kick so that I can bring it back. If I bring it back too soon, I chop the kick. Step out. And boom. Bring it back. Step out. Okay? Try it. Verify distance. Not too high. If you'll be careful, what you're doing is you're stepping over. You need to push through and keep shift forward. Shifting forward. There you go. You see that? How it naturally pulls you through? Okay. Now hold it for Modelo. What I want you to do on this one, though, I want you over here. And lower yourself, lower yourself like you really want. Uh, right there. And just hold it like that. What? Just for the video, for the video. Okay. Go ahead. So that I want them to see. Although, no so kid. you want to be straight to your partner. No, no kid. Yeah, no kid, we're just, no, I hope so. <laughs> you're going to have to hold it a little higher for me. And I want you to finish to where you're, just for training, to where you're lateral to here. Okay? So you got, where, where you got to turn to get the better all the way. Maybe you're too high, more. It's got to turn all the way. So your foot's got to turn. See, your foot hasn't turned yet. Turn the, the left leg. So, okay. When you're here and you step through, you're, you're turning, but you're not turning the foot. You've got to turn that foot too, because that's where the Kishan is coming. This foot, this foot, got to turn out. Yeah. So you have to get this agent real quick. You guys have to get this little hip hop movement when you turn. Okay? It's not flat leg turning, it's turning. So I step through and then I turn and I bring, see how I bring that up? Your foot's still back here like this because this is, you're heavy on the foot. You need to turn that heel so it comes right up. Okay, try it again. Hip hop turn, yep, and now you're all the way. Perfect. Just do the hand, just do the hand. Perfect. You see how it's training more? It does take time. Now, what I'm going to show later is how I cut out one movement to make the move more powerful and more fluid, and I'll do that in a minute. But we're going to get this first armada part first, okay? So now, just like with the Keshada, I stepped out. But because I'm kicking here, 
I'm actually, because the armada has stepped through, I'm still doing the same thing, but my foot's already on the meridian. Usually, I would have to go forward for the Keshada, right? But because of the twist in the armada, I'm already forward. You see? And that's where it would come up with the kick. And that's where the armada comes from. And then right up to the center, and it comes up, just like the kick shot. Okay, let's try that. Okay, it's because you haven't twisted it. You gotta twist. You wanna come up through my guard. Come up through my guard. It's okay. Take your time, take your time. This is a, this is a different way. Yeah, you just like the kick shot, you wanna bring it up through here. So you, now you've got the two kicks. I remember Master Accordion's book and him telling the story many a time. He showed up to this first giant in, encounter of Masters in Rio de Janeiro. He walks up, Master Bimba's in, he's like, I have 172 Armada variations or something weird like that. And Master Bimba's like, I only have one, and walked out. <laughs> So it's, there's one or two that we need to know. One is for the show, the nice, beautiful capoeira, but we also need to know how to penetrate the guard of our, of our partner, okay, or our adversary, right? Go, try. So hold it a little bit lower so you can see. I'll follow you, I'll follow you. Okay, good. Look at me, you got the path. Step through, bring it, bring it up the foot, like a pontera. That's how we train pontera so much. Bring it up. There it is. You feel the difference? Yeah. Okay. So now, if I was thinking about it, Bosha Shada, as we were joking, if I'm doing the Keshada, the Bosha Shada is here. If I'm doing the Armada, the Bosha, the, 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 the Bosha Shada is here. But since I'm trying to do a Keshada, a Keshada I need to come under. I need to turn. Boom. See how it's going up versus more of an angle here, like that versus like that. Okay? Try Armada Keshada just so you can feel and keep the same thing. Go. Armada Keshada. You see how there's a little bit of a pontera inside? That's perfect. Try it. Okay. Much better. Awesome. I'm going to show you guys an exercise. You can do it on the wall, or you can do it with your, with your partner. What we're going to do is we're going to square off like a mad guarda. Then, we're going to step together, and then we're going to turn until we're flat again. This, there's the, there's the position. See how I'm not like this? That's the position. Now bring it back. Bring it back to the other side. Perfect. Bring it back, other side. Bring it back to the other side. And if we were to kick, it would come right up the middle. That's how it is. What happens is people are doing this too much. Bring it through. When it's so clear that it's just so simple. Why? I don't want anything coming up in front of my hip. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that, I don't want to be like that. I want to be here so it's clear and open. Most important, if your students are getting a grinding pain in here, especially from Keshada and Armada training, it's because they're pushing down on it and grinding it. It's not flexibility, the hip is grinding. 
And that's why you were having the issues with your hand. Now when it's open, it's, that doesn't hurt. I can feel the pressure here. Don't put your shoulder on top. Open it up so there's nothing in the way of that hip when you kick. That's what we're thinking about. Also, I'm getting the extension. Good? Awesome. Don't even have to edit. All right, guys, let's move into male electrical and basso. What we're going to be working with today is understanding, like, imagine that you're kicking after somebody's male electrical and basso, after somebody's armada, after somebody's martello, or after somebody's male electrical frenchy or queixada. Let's imagine male electrical frenchy. My partner's kicking. What I need to imagine is that I'm in front of that and I'm gonna lower myself. What many people do is step and become a seesaw. They bring the hand up, they step, and then they kick and it goes up like that. What I'm gonna understand is how to break it down in Zuador language. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to step through like the armada. When I turn here, I'm gonna shift in a little bit then shift, I'm pushed back out to a male guarda in basho with my hip pushing forward. I didn't say this the other night, but that's a technical aspect of it. Jinga, step through a little bit, and there's a push. Putting my hands inside, forward, the person. Pushing the hip forward, getting my head down and turning for power, same as Aousema. As I do this, it's going to drag my foot. See how that drags? I'm going under the male electric like Franchi. I'm not doing this. And of course, I did the distance where I stepped out past my partner. That's why we call it Malaj Gombaso Pasando, Passi. Okay, try that four times. So remember, you're gonna you know, step in, like a man, water the low, because the kick's coming, that's the kick. Turn it, little shifting in, then shifting out, and push the hip forward, and there it is. See how it creates that like snapping motion? Two more times, go. No, no, we gotta finish the up. Careful, careful, bad habit. Guys, I'm not talking bad about Paul, I'm correcting. You're not chicken. Yes. you've gotta look. It only works because there's a visual connection to your partner. One more time, look up, look at yourself in the mirror, and that works perfect. Okay, Modelo, go ahead. Look at yourself in the mirror. Perfect. See how his leg drags? That is that is that is harnessed power. See how he's going under the kick, not into it or up? Perfect. Okay? This is such an important thing. I'll do we'll do it one more time. This time I'll do it sideways so you guys can see. I'm still doing the shoulder to shoulder, but underneath and inside. Okay? Go ahead. Do it looking forward so you can Look in the mirror. Yep, turn the hands inside like this. You want the torque. Yep. Get the torque, get the torque. Skaters do this for the hand plants. Our break dancers do it. We need the torque. Yep. Even more. Turn your hands. Turn your hands. Okay? Go ahead. Yep. Perfect. You see how much like harness powers inside. Okay. 
right now, how does the foot work when we're kicking? So here's my maguarda. I've done the move. I step through, I come here. Now my back leg, as I turn and push my hip forward, turn my hands pushing them forward, it drags the foot, I drag it toes. So, like ballet, my toes are straight. As I'm turning and I get shoulder to shoulder, I open it, which gives it the punch, punch. Shoulder to shoulder, does that make sense? So this way, I can kick it. So I'm here, dropping it. If I do a machado, I drop it. So this is what I'm gonna be doing in the kick. I'm gonna try to do this slow, which is probably impossible. <laughs> I'll roll up this a little bit so you guys can see my sexy leg. And I'll do here two times and then two times from, from the side. No, one, 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 okay? Same leg. really easy to see with him. Well, I'll do it from right here because I'm going to use your foot from underneath. Okay, go slow. Keep this way. So make sure you ballet the foot. Ballet the slow, slow, slow. So he's balleting and it's still taunted. When he gets to my shoulder to shoulder, he's going to pop it. And that's where the hit comes like an escorón. Because Meaj Compaso is escorón family. So if I was doing an escorón, like that, it's the same thing. Okay, so just at four five. See how the heel gets heavy? That's where all the power is coming from. So you gotta hit him. One more. Perfect heel. The last one you did exactly what I was about to talk about. Okay. And I'll tell you why you got so much speed and power on that one. Go. You're fine, you're fine, go. We're all here just to learn. No, 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 you gotta finish the jinga. You start laughing, you start nervous in yourself. Relax, step through, pasando. Turn it, kick it, good. It should slide off a little bit and then here, go. Yep, push through. Make sure you pass the distance on your partner, pasando. Good, one more. Good. Okay, he needs to step, you need to step out a little bit more. You're coming here and here. You need to step out so you can get a full rotation, just like the other one. Now, I was gonna say this and try to be a cool master, you know what I mean? But Modelo knocked it out the part on the last one. Watch. Modelo, come here. Come right there. Put your feet here. Do a simple straight legged escort on here. Like over here. Simple straight legged. And kick, get the arm up, kick. Right. See how his back's opening? See how it went like that? When we're pushing off the ground, that's what creates it. Same as going on. So right as you're about to kick the person, push. I'll do four, hopefully with the left leg, my right's been doing it all day. Watch how I push off. That creates this motion. See that? Because I'm pushing open. That'll give you the snap. Okay, try that four times. Get the snap. Snap. Okay, not, not down. Turn it to the side so you can open the shoulders. Open the back. Snap. You did it the last one. Over. Go. And open the back. Open the back. There you go. There you go. If you notice when he does that, his hip looks a lot lighter. 
it's going through a lot smoother yeah, versus. Higher. Yeah. Perfect. Go ahead, Neil. Go ahead. Yeah. That's what happens when you listen to Mastery and you figure out that it's an awesome kick. He's all happy in the back now. <laughs> but you feel like your hips more like yeah, yeah, okay. That's what I was going for. Try it. Got to turn from the body. Push from the arms. Torque. Push forward. There it is. See how his hips open really light? Nice? That's good. Now, for you, I'm going to fix the foot one time. Do it from over here really slow. Jinga. Marriage from basso slow. Okay, when you bring the foot up, you're already bent. It needs to come up sliding like that. So bring it back to where it was. Now bring the foot up, push from the hip. Now it's straightened. No, not yet, not yet. Turn, turn, the, and you need to turn the base and now open it. Wow. And that's where it comes. You're, you're rigid from the beginning. You've got to get nice and easy. You've got to get that. That's it. If you don't feel that in the kick, then it's it's different. Go ahead. Good. Okay. Now, like the proud Aztec warriors we are. Transition point to transition point. Go ahead. Watch your hands. Step through. You're not stepping through, you gotta step through. Yep. That's where you gotta lift the foot. You're doing this. You gotta get the foot. Come on, Mike. Then Modelo. Up here. I'll do queixada armada meach compasso. Right into the jinga. Okay? Guys, if you have any questions, I'm only more than happy to help. Let's go, Zuladores. <laughs>